What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to my first ever FIFA 13 series where it's going to be a head-to-head -head season series where I'm going to be trying to win Division 1 as quickly as possible. Um, so getting straight into it then, I did want to try out the new teams that are in FIFA 13 this year so I did go ahead and choose India. Um, they're not the strongest squad ever as you can see they've got one star um, but I did still want to give them a go and um, I did come up against Swindon in the first game so it was pretty even. I wasn't sure if uh, the EA's matchmaking was going to be shit as it is on Ultimate Team but luckily it was extremely fair this game, uh, India versus Sweden and I did get the first opportunity here um, within the third minute and I did actually take the 1-0 advantage with Chetri. Um, it wasn't the best goal but obviously it was just working my way around the defence. Um, I have figured out that in FIFA 13 it's all about passing. Um, pace is, isn't too much of a major factor as it was in FIFA 13. Uh, there you can see I was getting all sorts of, uh, of chances uh, but I wasn't ma managing it to bury them. Um, this game was an absolute, um, I'm not actually going to tell you but um, I did think it was a lot it was poor on my performance. For example, you can see there that guy's clearance. You can tell he was new to FIFA. Um, the touches he was taking, he was holding down sprints. The touches still going everywhere. As you can see here, I don't know how I didn't score that. Um, his goalkeeper just passed it straight to me and somehow I put it wide. Um, but I did make up for that by just getting the ball straight back. Um, I'm playing a lovely ball there over the top to his defence. One on one of the keeper. And um, I didn't actually score it. And check out that for a rebound. Um, that keeper got straight back. There have been a lot of them. You'll see some more in later in this episode. Um, but I did go into half time at 1-0 and if you look at the stats there he didn't even have a shot on target I had 7 and I did have the majority of possession so how I was only winning 1-0 um, was beyond me but again I was absolutely punishing his keeper I did go 2-0 here luckily and um, from a corner dropped down to his feet and he did just smash it there again Tet Chetri again uh, so that was 2-0 within the 50th minute um, and then there from there um, it was literally just a slaughter um, it wasn't anything like the first half where I was missing every opportunity I was getting lucky rebound there I don't know how I don't know why I took a touch I should have just smashed it um, should have been 3-0 there but somehow I wasn't so I only had 10 minutes to go in this game and I did absolutely go ham I did take the 3-0 lead here in the 79th minute um, which was good it's always good to get as many goals as you can so from there on I did realize um, there was no way this guy was going to be coming back especially seeing as I don't even know if he had a shot on target yet kind of a trampy goal here I'll let you decide um, but I did just cross it across the box in 86 minutes go 4-0 up and then in the 90th minute as you can see here I did go on another break just before the final whistle a um, bit of confusion there of the strike and the defender and he does smash it home the bottom right hand corner for 5 nil, which I believe is where the game ends um, so it's always good yeah it does finish there 5 nil. so it's always good to get your first win on the at the beginning of the series uh, to get your first 3 points so I only had I think 6 points more to go um, out of 9 games so Division 10 is extremely easy uh, second game then I did go with Egypt um, so we've had India and Egypt that I did come up against Derby so again it was an extremely fair game and he got the first opportunity here I don't know what I did but he let him through my defense and uh, fortunately for me he did put it wide it was a crap finish um, which I was extremely thankful for, and I did actually punish him for that with a lovely little crossing here and a lovely little header to take the 1-0 uh, lead in the 10th minute um, so that was already two possibly two goals within the 10th minute um, what my defender was doing there was beyond me and Salmon did put it um, in the top right hand top left hand corner so in the 19th minute for the 1-0 um, and then straight from there in the 21st minute I did get the ball play around his defense and smash it at home in the bottom left hand corner so that's 23 minutes we've already had three goals so I was preparing myself for a game which was going to be extremely long with a lot of goals what my defender was doing here again with Salmon he was extremely quick compared to my defence the defender didn't pick up the ball and he was punished for that um, and Salmon did bury it at a nice angle so it was a fairly decent goal um, but that put it at 2-0 a lovely little passing game here I did fast forward that um, but then El Gabas did put it through uh, past the keeper for a 3-2 lead I believe that is within the first half um, again, I did pass it, pass it around. Did find a lucky break here. Um, error on the keeper's half and uh, on the keep on the defender's behalf. Sorry, and it was a lovely finish into the top right-hand corner of a lovely finesse shot. So that was 4-2. We had six goals within the first half. So I was preparing myself for an extremely long second half. But looking at those stats, I only had four shots, and I had managed to get myself four goals. So I had 100% shot shot accuracy, which was always good. He had quite a few, and he was wasting a lot of opportunities, which I was punishing for. Um, another goal there in the 67th minute. That was the 5-2. So for from there it was literally just one way traffic in the 88th minute I believe this is I did get a red card um, I do I do think it was a red card there was no replay for some reason so I wasn't able to show you it but you can go back and watch that and decide for yourself if it was a red I was sliding from behind hoping to win the ball um, but nonetheless with 10 men I still managed to grab another goal um, to win at 6-2 so that is two games uh, two wins six points uh, so I did only need three more points to get the promotion to division nine and with this game I did 
ask on Twitter he wanted me to use and a lot of people were saying use Cameroon because they have a lot of pace. Uh, their striker, um, no their left forward, their right forward and their centre forward um, did have over 90 pace yet in the second minute I did concede to Bent. They did have Bent and Abongaho up front who both are extremely quick um, and he was absolutely punishing me in this first half. He was getting every opportunity he was getting. He was uh, giving my keeper all sorts of trouble. Luckily my keeper saved that. Uh, poor passing here on my behalf. I gave the ball straight away uh, to Stephen Ireland and Bongaho and he just buried that through the 2-0 lead in the 22nd minute. So I was thinking I was going to get absolutely smashed but I did, I did sort myself out and I did start getting my own opportunities. As you can see here, I don't know how I didn't score that. It was a tight angle for the rebound, uh, but that first opportunity I should have scored. How I didn't is beyond me. Um, but again, with all this pace, it was an extremely quick game. Uh, luckily, I left that there and went straight to Overton, and he absolutely smashed it for the, um, I believe that is 2-1 in that. 30th minute um, so I was still looking for trying to pull back the um, the draw with the 2-0 um, and luckily it did come to me here song with an absolute belt on the right foot in the 34th minute um, that was an absolute beast of a shot um, so that was 2-0 just before half time and then I did get the ball to Sally he did tramp it um, I'm going to let you guys decide if I should have tramped it there but I was 2-0 down and I pulled it back to 3-2 now which is quite an achievement um, so I did decide to tramp it it's a bit, little bit of a, a faggot move I don't normally tramp it because I hate it when people do it against me but uh, being 2-0 down and wanting to bring on the comeback I did do that there so I did have the 3-2 lead um, just before half time he did get the ball to Enzogbia here and how he didn't score that is beyond me the rebound there what an absolute epic save by my keeper he got straight back onto his feet um, that gave him a corner there and I fast forwarded this here I absolutely just rinsed him on a counter attack I did fast forward that here and it did fall to Makanjo um, and he did just run with the ball and of course he's going to score that bottom left hand corner um, with his left foot he just pelted down to the bottom left and that did give me uh, quite a lead before half time so I did go into the dressing room at 4-2 at the half time uh, so I did think that was going to be a guaranteed three points for me but he did bring on a little bit of a comeback here a lucky lucky goal hitting the post and it hit my goalkeeper's back by Bent so that gave him another the goal this game which pulled it back to 4-3 so the, the gap I had for my lead had been reduced by a goal um, which I just absolutely punished him for there and um, we gave him giving him another goal to deal with so that did put me 5-3 um, and then there I just literally just absolutely abused the pace that I had in my squad just launching over the defence and I'll just get someone to meet the ball the other end and absolutely just bear it in the back of the net as you can see there uh, Sally had a one-on-one -one of the keeper and he did use some lovely skill and did manage to get to me another goal the guy did unfortunately rage quit um, which I was a little bit annoyed about should have just played the game but that is the three points again so that's three games for this episode that is all I'm going to be doing for this episode and that is the nine points uh, so I've already been promoted to um, division nine but I'm going to be going for the division title which you'll be seeing in episode two so I hope you did enjoy this video if you did and you would like to see more of this series then please do drop a like rating it is always extremely appreciated and do leave your comments in the comment section below as to who you'd like me to see play with in episode two so I hope you did enjoy this video please do leave a rating and until my next episode I'll speak to you guys later take care